What? Yeah. No, I'm... Yeah, I'm behaving myself. I'm, no, I'm not playing in abandoned buildings. What? Again? Now. I suppose you had those people follow me again. Fine. Hey, this is Jimmy Farrow from Monty and the Farrow, and I want to thank all our subscribers. We have now passed 14,000 on our YouTube channel, but I want to ask our subscribers to take the next step for us and become a full-fledged member of Monty and the Farrow. Yeah, that's right, folks. There's three different levels to choose from. There's free shirts. There's free autographs. Just check it out and become a member of Long Island's number one pro wrestling broadcast, Monty and the Pharaoh. Later. go on air i see a comment from a guy oh his, this is his name i yeah. pee on my scrotum <laughs> and he goes you can be a Wait member a of my sack my sack really that's like, ballsy do you think you <laughs> very good <laughs> do you think how much time it is like the like did he just make that up like right before the show well he's like clearly, made a channel he clearly thought very, yeah he did but he thought very very strongly before he came up with i pee on my scrotum if you pee on your own scrotum, I don't think you got any business making fun of anybody else. No, I agree. I mean, come on, can't you keep control? By of the way, it? Jacob says I'd rather have an affair with Vince than be hugged by Tony Khan. I, I'll, 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 I, I agree. I, I think I might, agree. Might be onto something, Rabbit. <laughs> I'll be like Tony. You could have my oh, butt side. Oh, Ben. Uh, not yeah, Tony. He's a, he's Vince. A... Vince, you could have me any which way, just as long as Tony doesn't well, right. me. <laughs> come oh, here, Monty. All right, Monty. <laughs> 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 what the? And I'll pay you a million dollars. Oh boy! In the end, <laughs> to be I won't quiet. Be so up there. Yeah, whatever. I, I could say, Mike Monty. I want my hush money. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you again for joining us on Thursdays. We'll do a roll call in a minute. Uh, this roll is call. Long Island's number one pro wrestle broadcast. Monty yeah. Nafaro at the board is our producer Jared. Hey, what's going on? And Jared won't be here tomorrow for EC3. We've okay. got to fill in. Okay. Makes me nervous not having Jared. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this. No, but, but Jared's got yeah, a life. He has a life. Yeah, he's got a life, and I think there's something important going on. Uh, so, uh, you know. Ivana Trump has died. The former president Ooh. announced her death on social media Ooh. platform. I am very saddened to inform that all of those that loved her, of which... There are many that Ivana Trump has passed away. He wrote, she was a wonderful, beautiful, amazing woman who led a great and inspirational life. Oh, that's hard to argue. She obviously uh, made her mark. I, I, I remember her being a lot hotter. Is there something wrong with me, with my memory? I'm not trying to be not trying to be disrespectful no, here. Yeah, I'm, no. I'm, I'm just I, being I, honest. I, I, I was just thinking you know, we how we were just looking for pictures the of her. Political like, climate minute. climate is now, and the, okay. the hatred for President Trump. It's oh like, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm like, oh man, Ivana Trump died, and people right. are like, end. <laughs> what are they like saying? Good. I mean, is it? No, that? it's just like that. Matter of factly, like I hate oh, Donald Trump so oh, much, so that, that anybody can even remotely connect it to him. Exactly. Boom. Very interesting. Wow, that's pure hate, isn't it? I don't get it. That's really, I still don't really, get it. Uh, very interesting. What's going on in this country nowadays? I yeah, don't get it. I'm I'll, sorry. I've got to speak to it. A little roll call. A few people in the house. Got Chris Steves, the first lady of wrestling. Miss Maria Davis in the house. Maria. Matthew Holland. Hey. B40 in the house. B40. Uh, what up? 
BO2 Blues. He, he screws me up, man. He, he lost yeah, his what channel. He changed his channel name. He changed man. his channel name, but it's it's the it's the good old 802. I know that. <laughs> Jay Will in the house. Dennis Price says, "Is there ever going to be see any content, or is this just ads?" <coughs> well, yes, Dennis. Now you're getting content. Now you <laughs> now you've just turned it off. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Jacob in the house. Hey, I, I want to know one thing, though. Is IP on my scrotum's cousin here tonight? Is IP freely on the list? No. He says nine in the right chat. Right over Way the to head. go, guys. There we Big, go. Oh, we got a hater. So IP on my scrotum yeah. must be hated. He goes, he, of course nine he in the chat. Way to go. Big time, fellas. Wow. So, you know, how's you, how, how's, how's his channel doing? How's he doing? Oh, I don't know. Mitch He's Seinfeld on his scrotum. ESO in the house who says, by the way, PG-14 back on Raw July 18th. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Stringers in the house. How are you? What What's up? going on? What up? So, anyway, guys, um, couldn't sleep last night. Got a lot of work going on. A lot of stuff running across my mind. And I was thinking about how life is passing me on and how much older I'm getting. and How cheery. Uh, well, I'm not, you know, I, I was just, just thinking, man, it's like so much discrimination. Yeah. And we see it, you and I, I know personally, think we see it, we think we're younger than we are sometimes. And I don't think that. I know it. Yeah, there you go. I know I'm younger than I uh, than and, I am. And then I started thinking about like all the women that I used to watch on TV who were oh. hot. But it, it brought me to Missy Hyatt. Like as I'm thinking about this, I'm thinking about Missy Hyatt when she was in studio. Missy Hyatt. And how you were like, man, Missy <sighs> Hyatt's hot. Missy Hyatt. And Missy Hyatt's up there. So, I'm just saying she looks fabulous. So it made me think, and yeah. I and I know you thought she was hot. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. I started thinking about girls that we are women we might have crushed on when we were younger oh boy so how long is this list i thought about a few uh. so i'm gonna name a few and you give me some feedback okay. and fans give feedback okay carmen electra carmen electra is smoking hot but but i'm confused about like you know that's when we were in our 20s, wasn't it? Carmen yeah, Electra? Sure. I think more of like original crushes when I think about this subject, but that's okay. Carmen Electra? Wow. Well, 20s wow. is a crush. You could be crushing on someone. Oh, yeah. In your well, 20s. you could crush on someone right now in your 50s. Exactly. <laughs> how about Courtney Love? No. How are you crushing Dude, on I Courtney Love? I was crushing picked, on Courtney Love. I picked awesome pictures of Courtney Love, but in general, that's a yak attack. What's wrong with you? Wow, really? She's a yak attack. I gotta disagree. Maybe dude. it's maybe it's her cr her crazy disposition or the fact that uh, Kurt like she drove Kurt crazy that turns me off with her. I don't know what it is. I always I mean those good pictures though. in good shape. Yeah, no, nothing like that. I don't know. I think her music is horrendous, but that's another story. Oh, you're wrong there. <laughs> oh, really? She's right there with Kurt, huh? No, but I mean she's she Yoko does. Ono compared Hole. to Kurt. Hole was a good band. Okay, that's fine. That's it. it if you like Hole. I like Hole in a lot of different ways. <laughs> Tiffany Amber Thiessen. I, um, Which you didn't know, Harvey. Uh, well, because like, I don't know the, the people from Saved by the Bell. The, this Tiffany, uh, the, wow. And 90210. Uh, yeah, I didn't watch those shows. No, I didn't watch those shows. Wow, she was cute back in the how day. How do you like how they age? I think they're all doing okay. Yeah, yeah. so far so good. So far so good. Yeah, okay. I think so. Yeah, sure. Tyra Banks. Oh, Tyra Banks, yowzy, yeah, wow. There's no picture of Tyra. There is no picture. Uh, yeah, wow, she was, yeah. Wasn't she in Halloween Resurrection, though? Boo. Was she really? Just for that, I'm not into her. That movie was terrible. Our favorite, what? Pam, that's me, oh, oh. sorry. Hi, me. Pam Anderson. Pam Anderson, wowzy, wow. Oh, yeah, Pam Anderson. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that uh, awesome flick with uh, her and Tommy Lee. Yeah, that was, that was great. <laughs> You didn't like that? Oh, of course I liked it. What are you? What are you kidding me? It's not often you ride a horse. Horses. Wow! Look at you, hey, Tommy Lee. Good lord, Gwen He's... Stefani. Gwen Stefani. Hmm. Okay, I could see that. I could see Gwen Stefani. All right. All right. So, who was your crush, dude? Well, I think more of like when I was a kid, and uh, since we were like the first real generation to be exposed to major, major reruns from back in the day, I'm just gonna go with. Jeannie, Barbara Eden. Hello. Hi, Jeannie. Whoa. Jeannie. Was, I'm wondering if our fans Jeannie. even know who... Uh, Put the lotion in the well, bottle. Here's some of the fans that got here. Uh, yeah. Let's see. JB, JB says, uh, Blue says, Phoebe Cates. Phoebe Cates, Fast Times at Ridgemont High. 
Wow. Oh, yeah. B40 says Mama Cass. <laughs> Mama Cass was amazing. Oh, come on. Stop it. Especially, You're going to attack especially Courtney when Love. She, especially when she sang and ate a ham sandwich. Wow. Yeah, that's rough. She went, no, of course not. I Greg wanna... R., I got to agree with this one, Leah Remney. Oh, man, yes. Yes, yes Definitely yes, yes. Leah uh-huh. Remney. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Yeah. BS Express, Heather Locklear, oh. Barbara Bach, oh. Joan Jett. Damn. Off the, off the charts. Yeah. Wait a minute. How about Victoria Principal back in the day? Got to give me something for Victoria Oh, absolutely. Principal. Morgan Fairchild. Biggs Boss Fetty has one right here. This is pretty yeah. good. Uh-huh. And again, she was <laughs> what hot. What is going on here? She was hot, but. What kind of crazy uh, conversation all right. is this? Robin Quivers. Robin Quivers? Yes. Robin. She was good looking for a Robin? while there. Yes, I Robin. think so. I'm not going to disagree What about Baba Bowie while we're at it? Oh, come on. Stop it. What? Something wrong with Gary's teeth? Baba Bowie. <laughs> I used to love that. That was hilarious. Jay Will says, Barbara Eden appeared on the Andy Griffith episode. Was she hot on Andy Griffith? Was Andy getting a hard on on, on the Andy Griffith <laughs> Gal- show? Golly, Barn. I sure am getting <laughs> excited. Phoebe Cates we talked yeah, about. Phoebe Let Cates. me see oh, here. Whoa. Ashley, Matthew Holland, Ashley Masada. But Masaro oh, yeah. is hot mama. Yeah. She was hot. She was hot. I like Jane Fonda and Barbarella. <laughs> oh, yeah. She was <laughs> like, What's wrong with that? Cher Raquel Bear. Welch, my she, all-time fave. Cher Bear says, happy Thursday. Happy Thursday, Cher Bear. Uh-huh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, my God. Question mark says, sunny days. S- sunny days. Yeah. Lou says, Kathy Lee Gifford, Gifford smoking. I agree, dude. Cat, yes. Yeah. Jared, yeah. who was the young man's Come crush, on, Jared. Buddy? Who now do you got? Now that we've got? named everybody from, like, the Jurassic Age. <laughs> this is, who do right. you got? This is my personal uh, from back in the day. Who you got? Drum roll. And here yes, she oh. is. Oh. 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 Little Selena Gomez <laughs> going on. Yum. <laughs> Oh, nice J- job there, Jared. Jacob says Heidi Klum. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's Didn't see. she run off with a seal? Jason says Mrs. Garrett from Facts of Life. <laughs> Mrs. That's dirty. Garrett! That's dirty. That's <laughs> dirty. Yeah, you, take the good, you take the bad, there's the bad, and there you have oh, the Facts man. of Life. Oy. I saw something from our man Mitch. <laughs> he had someone's name here. Heather Thomas. Heather Thomas. Nice. Nice pick. All right. So Nice pick. Look. We all got to be honest with ourselves. Yeah. And we know we had crushes, women crushes. Sure. Marsha Brady. So it made me... Marsha Brady. Marsha Brady. Marsha Brady. Farrah Fawcett. Farrah Fawcett. In the 70s? Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Who else? So let's be fair. (laughs) You can go on all night. Again, I want the audience to be honest. Yeah. We all had our cartoon crushes. Oh, yes. Also. Absolutely. Now, as abnormal as may sound, as a human male... Yeah. That you Who's your have. animated fantasy Batman? I'm 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 going <laughs> I with love this. I'm going with Daphne yeah, from me too. Uh, Scooby Doo. Burr? Yeah. Daphne was smoking effing hot. Ray yeah. Ronty, wreck up that rass. All right, look, I don't want to put you on the spot here, but did you ever <laughs> knock one out to Daphne? To Daphne? Yeah. To Daphne Vilma. And uh, there was a threesome going on. It was me and Did you and really? I'm like, and I'm and not Wilma. judging. No judgment. Right, this is right. a judgment-free zone. And Scooby zone. was filming it. What is going on here? So That's are a you, sick mind. So now you're now You're really you're deni- buying this? You're denying it. <laughs> Look, before he's being honest. Yeah, what do we got? Betty Rubble. Bet- Betty Rubble was hot. Hey, Fred. She had a tight-ass body. Before he wants to bang Betty. But did you ever wonder why <laughs> Betty Rubble <laughs> was involved with Barney? Because Barney was, like, terrible. Short, short dude, big stalk. Maybe he had a big stalk. Hey, he, he. Hey, Betty. Hey, he, he. Maybe he, you know. Bane says, well one, endowed. Bane says, caveman. Wonder Woman. Wonder he must have had some whoa, sticky whoa, comics. Carter? He must have, no, the cartoon. Oh, the cartoon. I can he must see have had some sticky comics. Well, he must have gotten. Really hey, I'm going to sell this number five Wonder Woman. The guy tries to open. Get the pages of Do you know how psyched he was when Wonder Woman got in an invisible plane? You could see her whole body. She's in the plane. Nice. The, the Hall of Justice. That cartoon was fantastic. I love it. All right, Jared, who's your cartoon crush, brother? <laughs> He's got a cartoon crush, too. All right, this is from uh, one of my favorite cartoon shows back in the day. What's the name of it? Phineas and Ferb. Oh, I've heard of this. Oh, wow. Yeah, Dr. she's Duke lovely. She, 
She's low. Did you have a Jared? Did you have a knock one out to that? <laughs> no, I can't say I have. Stop doing that. What? Even if he did, he wouldn't say well, it. Oh, you gotta. Ask hey, him. we gotta. No, all doors are open here, folks. We're as honest as can be. So, which character did you knock one out to? I think I will tell you in front of a million people. <laughs> Or nine in the chat room. Well, according to this guy, yeah, nine. According to IP freely on my scrotum when no one's looking. Uh, that's a that's a great way to be. Anyway, Share Bear says Starsky and Hutch. Share Bear. That would, clearly, Share Bear is a woman. Share Bear is one hell of a woman. There you go. Yeah, that's for sure. I wonder, Share Bear, did you ever knock one out to Starsky and Hutch? I bet you, Share Bear. I'm not going to say anything. You can answer that one for yourself, there, Share Bear. <laughs> All right, so much. if you didn't catch Chris... With the music and everything! Chris Jericho... Yeah. Chris, <laughs> what? Chris Jericho, was on, Chris Jericho was on a podcast, and yeah. he was asked about working with China. Yeah. And Jericho yeah. has recalled his rival rivalry with the late WWE superstar China mm -hmm. and explained she was terrible to work with. Oh, Jericho oh. burst into the WWE in the summer of 1999, okay. as we all know, and when he was appearing on the True Gordy Par podcast, the AEW star explained that he had, was in a no-win situation, tangling with the star who wielded significant p political power due to her relationship with Triple H at the time. Hmm. Terrible. She was terrible to work with. She wasn't good. She right. thought as good as she thought she was, and right. she also was in a position where she was being pushed really big so she could beat up guys. She couldn't, and I like and I like I never got credit. No one ever said I made her look good. It was always the other side of the coin. I got in big trouble at one point when I first started working with her. Vince said to me, don't treat her like a woman, treat her like a wrestler. And she was really, really stiff too and worked strong. I'm not talking bad about her. I'm just telling the truth. Right. And, you know, he just goes on and, yeah. you know, and just saying that she just yeah. wasn't any he good. He carried her. That's that's just the facts. I thought that back then, too. But, I mean, he did a great job of it, and China was put over quite well by Chris Jericho. He's a pro. That was He handled it like a pro. But did you look at China? Because China was over. She was over with me. She was over. She was over with me. But they made sure that they took it to that next level where you – they answered the question, can China hang with the guys? And Jericho was the one who did it for her. Absolutely. But did you, you know, in, as a fan, did you look at China as a bad wrestler? Yes, I did. All the time. I knew that she wasn't good in the ring. You could tell. I mean, she was better than Sable. Let's not insult her. Right. But she wasn't good. No, she wasn't good. You know, it was damn good Jackie back in the day. So she wasn't the wrestler, days. wrestler. Not at all. But she had amazing it factor. That was it. So she was Hogan-esque? No, I wouldn't say that because Hulk Hogan could do many, many, many more things than China ever could in the ring and, and promos. And come on, China couldn't talk. Let's be serious here. China just had that amazing gift. She was very unique. Her look was unique. There was something about her presentation that was unique. She was very different. Hmm. But she wasn't a great talker and she wasn't great in the ring. She just had it factor. And sometimes, and in her case, that's all you need. What, and she, and she was a Hall of you, Famer. What and makes that's you the think line. that Jericho what? decided to speak about it? Like I don't know. Maybe it was just something that he felt like you know he wanted to, wanted to get off his off, chest. Yeah. yeah, you know, and he's entitled to that. That's for shit. Oh, you know, look, look, he's given you an know? interview. Uh, it's good that he answered. They, that. Yeah, if they asked. Charles about Bird it. asked, "Love the show? Where's Mach been? Mach is doing his own channel now, the Mach Network. Okay, and uh, you know, like I said, we give opportunities on the channel. We're trying to help people, and." Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and hopefully they do well do and they, they move do. on on their own. Right. So, yeah, it's all good. Mach yep. a good guy. Yep. Phil's in the house. Good to see you, What's Phil. What's up, Phil? All right. Well, what up? to my right is the star show, Mr. Jimmy Farrow. Hello. I would like the band that sings the theme song to Monty and the Farrow, or when Jimmy Farrow, along with his partner, Bart Riggs, make up the band Wisteria Hall. Wisteria Hall sings such great songs as In My Dreams, This Life, Not Far Behind, Here Comes the Rain. You can find their music on the Wisteria Hall YouTube page. Please hit like and subscribe. And try, when they go and put a video up, to have more than nine people in the chat room. Ooh. Oomph. <laughs> <laughs> Download the music on Spotify, <laughs> Apple Music, and <coughs> Reverb yeah, Nation. Yeah. Monty DeFaro can be seen on the Monty DeFaro YouTube page, Monty DeFaro Facebook Live page. Here's on iHeartRadio, Spotify, Anchor, Twitch TV, and if you're lucky enough to live in New York, Channel 115 every Tuesday at 9.30 and 11.30 p.m. And also Channel 20 at 1 a.m. 
where we have 100,000 viewers watching us weekly. We want to thank Amazon Music for allowing us to be on their network. You could also catch us, obviously, on all audio networks, which I said previously. We'll be right back with the show, which we're presently calling If You Don't Stand for Something, You'll Fall for Anything. Somebody catch me. We'll be right back. Wrestling fans, now you too can look as cool as Monty and the Pharaoh by wearing the official Monty and the Pharaoh sunglasses at night for $8.99 each. That's only $8.99 each. Now available at MontyandthePharaoh.com. <laughs> oh, what's up, Mike? Hey, Jimmy, what's going on? Yeah, not that much. You know, Jimmy, I love this country. Oh. I love to buy Made in America material. And I love to buy my artwork at TAG, T-A-A-G, Made in America, 14 East Broadway, Port Jefferson, New York, 11717, the shop at the corner. Hi, it's John from Under the Table Hot Sauce. I'm here with my friend, the star of the show, Jimmy Farrow. Yeah, what's up, JB? Nah, nothing. It's been a hot summer, and for all your barbecue needs, you can go to UndertheTableHotSauce.com. 13 unique flavors to choose from, created and bottled in a Long Island kitchen. UndertheTableHotSauce.com. Let's go chow, JB. Let's do it. All the flavor, twice the burn. All right, welcome back to Long Island's number one pro wrestler broadcast, Monty and the You know, it's, high, it's kind of hard, Jimmy. i got to bounce back before between like three social media channels. Yeah, how do you do this? So if I do the math, it's yeah. actually more than nine people in the chat room. I don't know why that aggravated me, that comment, because but it was really like fucking annoying. Because douchebag and, and when you create a channel in Mommy's Basement, yeah, it's, it's annoying. My, uh, what? Michael Fenster says out there, Val Valerie Bertinelli. Good pick, Michael. How are you, Mike? That's yeah, dude, good. Valerie Bertinelli. Fa absolutely. absolutely, freaking lutely If we do a program every so often called wait, Head wait, to Head, if wait. I would... Go ahead. I, I gotta get it in. Good. For, uh, that Mrs. Garrett thing? Well, yeah. how dare they not mention Blair from Facts of Life? Yeah, you Didn't know, like dude. Too I gotta snooty? be honest. Too no. snooty? Blair was hot at Joe? one point. Are you gonna start with Joe on me? Joe. No. Joe was your tomboy. She was. Well, how about Christy McNichol? She, she was your tomboy, but yet somehow hot. How about, um, help me, Bad News Bears Girl, Mary McEnroe. Tate, Tatum. <laughs> yes, Tatum O'Neill. Oh, what about Christy McNichol? How about them apples? Didn't I just say Christy McNichol? No, no, I didn't. No, you didn't. But we were close. We were mentioning people who were who similar. Who did I to say it. before? I right? don't know. I that think I said Christy McNichol. It was a whole 10 seconds ago. I no, you said somebody else. We yeah. had Tatum O'Neill. No, before Tatum O'Neill. I don't know. I, I think I said Christy McNichol. Hit rewind. Can you play Chris it again? I I'm old. Jared, did I say Christy McNichol? I don't think he did. Anyway. Jared's, uh, Jared was Jared actually paying attention. I want to go back to Blair because that's a very important part of it. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Blair is on MeTV now. Okay. And she Me looks TV. like Blair, but just an older Blair. Oh, no. And also, I'm like, eh. How is it? Not so good. I'm just like, no. But then I start thinking about the younger Blair, and yeah. I'm like, eh. Really? Eh. Not really into it. That's an interesting up. So that means that sometimes chicks that seem super hot, they're sexual thing dolls? It's like watching dolls over It's like years? watching Morocco and Backlund. Oh, now. no. You're it's, using that analogy? I'm going to use that analogy. You know, that armbar used to look a lot better. I used to love it. By the way, a lot of the fans yeah. are uh, going to the MSG in July. That's cool. We should go. I want to go. Let's do it. You're on. In July. It is July. What, July what? 25th. Oh, let's go. You want to go? I, I do. That would be cool. All right, welcome back to Long Island's number one pro wrestle broadcast, Monte Farrell, only seen here out of Indie Music TV. So, over the last seven few, over the last several months, yeah, um, Vincent Kennedy McMahon has been <laughs> revealed that he's paid more than twelve million dollars to several women over the oh course boy. of sixteen years. Over the course of sixteen um, years. <laughs> What do you oh, give me a take boy. on this whole thing, Farrow? Uh, Vince likes to have sex with women. That's my take, and and it's become public. It can't, it can't I, be I, that I think, simple. It, well, to me, it is that simple. Vince is look. This is over sixteen years. We have an habitual "I need some" kind of thing going on here. So, and and you know what? I bet you it goes back a lot further than sixteen years. If it's I'm sixteen sure it years, did. let's be honest, man. This has got to probably go well. Back, you had you way had back. you had Mario Mancini on the show, mm -hmm. and Mario really was worn out on yeah. talking about it. So we mm -hmm. we 
yeah. fairly res- yeah. you know, we respect our guests. Absolutely. So we decide not to talk about it. Right. But Vince was accused of yeah. accused of raping a former referee mm-hmm. woman. Mm-hmm. And uh, everybody, everybody's aware of that story. Mm-hmm. Yep. And a settlement came out over that. Right. More recent than the past. Right. 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 Um, right. We now know that Vince had an affair with his paralegal or someone in the legal department who he hired, who he met in his condo area. Um, then it's also been revealed that a wrestler, a former female wrestler, okay. was paid $7 million. Uh, as she was coerced into giving him oral sex and then later on no longer wanted to continue this relationship and accuses Vince of, of you know, yeah. not renewing her contract over right. it. Gotcha. Okay, we all don't know who it is. Have you heard who this female wrestler is? I read an article that was saying that every woman that you ever saw him lap tongues with, he's banged. You realize how long that list is? Like they were saying, Trish Stratus, Stacy Keebler. There's more. Do you believe that though? Uh, no, I don't either. No, don't but I do it. think that Vince. It, to to be fair, I do think that Vince has had handfuls of women, most likely from what we can kind of see on the surface. What little we really truly do know. Sixteen years is a long time to have uh, you know a bunch of payoffs. And again, if you go back to the situation with the lady referee back in the 80s this goes way more than 16 years that this kind of weirdness well wait a minute well, i really want to break this down because i think there's some important subjects here right but i want to get something i want to get something clear because this is this is this is a really good comment and i wasn't going this way but um i, I saw the comment and i'm sorry guys well, where are we going but I basically i'm not giving that. a shout out for who wrote it but i can't okay. seem to find it but i just saw it come up but anyway well, what was the gist uh they asked, raise your hands if you think that Vince had any kind of relationship with Shawn Michaels. I do not believe that. No. Without a shadow of a doubt. Without a shadow of a doubt. Why? Because Vince McMahon, to me, is just, you know, I don't know. I don't find him that way. That's not the vibe I get from him. Not that that means anything. That's just my personal vibe. I don't get that vibe from him at all. At all. You know, just because, you know, he knew Pat Patterson's, you know, situation or he knew about terry uh, garvin or or mel i don't think that he himself was like oh let's uh, you know go out tonight and skip rope i, I, I don't i'm not mean it. listen I don't, I don't mean it like I that do you, you don't strike me that way listen i i think i mentioned this before and what would that make Shawn michaels by the way do we even like think about like the other person we throw into this what would that make Shawn michaels what, what are we it would make him bisexual what, but with all the other things or sexually that, inquisitive with all the other things that Shawn michaels was doing Behind the scenes and the women he was running around with and the careers he was like, you know, trying to stop in his good name. Now he's Mr. Reborn. Really? We're going to throw that one on top of the cake too? Man, that's fucked up to me. Wait a minute. I don't know. I don't know. So you know Piper yeah. admitted to do so- doing something with Pat Patterson. Right. Willingly. Right. To further his career. He sure seems remarkable. Would you consider Piper a homosexual? It didn't sound to me like it was something he wanted to do. But he did but it. If you do it, you are it. Right? You do I don't know you if you're homosexual. You could be bisexual. Well, or inquisitive. So what does that mean? He was a one-hit wonder? I don't understand what that means. Could be a one-hit wonder. All right, if it was what it was. So Vince, Sean, that couldn't be a one-hit wonder? I don't see it. You're I'm asking saying, me what I see. I, no, I'm just well, saying. how I think about it. I could it, it be? I guess. But I don't think so. You know, I'm much more inclined to think that Vince slept with Trish Stratus. Much more inclined to think that Vince slept with Stacey Keebler. Much more inclined to think that Vince slept with a billion other of these hot people. I did see one name I don't agree with. Sable? Brock would have killed him. He didn't sleep with Sable. I don't believe that. Unless Brock was like, yeah, go ahead. Well, first of all, what? He, Sable, <laughs> Sable could have been with Mark Merrow at that point. Right. Oh, right. he got him on the in-between. Yeah, could did have got him in the in-between. Hey, Sable. That's possible. Lay down on the table, Sable. I do think Sable. You're I, do, hired. I do think Sable had a settlement with them. I don't. Yeah. I don't well, there them. you go. There's <coughs> that too. But, I don't know. Do but, you know this, this whole thing makes me get the so heebie-jeebies. Again, a lot of people. So the they he busted open had the uh, <clears throat> the, the writers What's of that? you know busted. By the way, it's Bully Ray's birthday today. Oh, happy birthday! Get the, get the birthday cake. Happy birthday! You know who won't, won't be at birthday his birthday cake. party though? Who won't be at his birthday party? Can you guess? No. Who? Come on. No, come on. Help me out here. I hate when you do this. What? Oh. 
His hot ass girlfriend. Our ex -girlfriend. Oh, Velvet Sky will not be there. No, she won't. She's outside. I'll be right back. <laughs> she won't be wishing. Velvet. She won't be. She won't be wishing what? that fat fucking birthday. <laughs> I anyway. have a fat fucking birthday, <laughs> fat fuck. That's rough. So, <laughs> what the? Vince, all right, so let's start uh, here. Through the table. Vince yeah. has consensual mm -hmm. sex with women. Yes, he does. That okay. seems to be the... None of these are, none of these are rape cases. All, let's uh, get real. Well, look, but the reality of it yeah. is these women are going into this willingly, but only willingly probably because they either are in fear... Right. Look, let's be honest. Yeah. A 30 or 20-year-old is not really sleeping it's with a 60 year yes. It's manipulation, bro. Right? It's manipulation. Manipulate how? Manipulate with power. So then that becomes a ho hostile work environment. Sure does. So then then do you agree that what Vince is doing is wrong? Absolutely it's wrong. Really? If he's doing Explain. That? Well, what is there to explain if you're freaking banging half the damn office and then pressuring them to continue banging you? Look, if they bang you one time and, and they bang you and everything's cool, just don't, don't you know when to not push it? And, and I also, there's the other side of the coin too. These women who are willingly having sex with Vince that are collecting later, are you are no saint either. Probably most of you. Well, so I'm not too thrilled with any of this. It's it, again not trying you know? to be uh, victim. I'll shame. take my seven again, million first, dollars now. I it's don't like, want. Wow, I, I sat there and the, listened to La Greca you know? talk about these victims and yeah. how bad they're not victims. They're not. No, they willingly, willingly accepted this got proposal laid in hopes of probably furthering their career. So again, they're not saints in this picture. No, I, I think that they're all like you know. Ugh, I don't know, dude. This is just a bunch of people being whores. Isn't it? So the point horny. You know, how about that? One point Lagreca made was some people how, rich. How unfair Great. is it to what other employees? <laughs> how unfair is it for other employees to feel that oh that's the God. only way to get up there is to do what these other like women are doing? For example, you know who's screwed right now? Who? Your favorite? That uh, the, the 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 big one that's named after a flower or whatever her name is. What's her name? Dewdrop. Yeah, dewdrop. It's not a flower. You're always close. It comes off a flower. Okay. Yeah, she's screwed. Why? Because they, they're going to go jumping into bed with Alexa Bliss. This is not fair. Well, how do you know they don't want to like, do that? How do I know Vince didn't already oh, Now you're fat Vincent. shaming. Now you're fat shaming. No, I'm just saying. You're, you're saying. fat shaming. No, I'm stating facts. No, you're stating your facts. I'm stating that Vince McMahon called you're, me no. the other day. You're telling me. Do drop is gross. You're telling me. I'm telling what you. Vince personally, likes. It doesn't mean I'm fat shaming. I think that do drop standing next to You're saying if you were Vince McMahon. Trish Stratus. You would like, not Gee, which you... one am I picking? White Castle or Filet McMahon? See, now you're comparing do drop to White Castle. That's individual comparison, not a general statement on fat people. No way. fat shaming. No way. Now you're is hot. Fuck you. <laughs> you're fat, Jamie. <laughs> you're trying to make no. Me you are trying to paint me into a corner. Uh, well, I, you've been painted. I, that's not you're fair. white. Just because and Tulip blue. is is a lousy wrestler and ugly is All not right. my fault. Is not my back problem. to it. So you're telling me that what Vince is doing is wrong. Yeah, of course it is. So then he should be relieved of his duties. I didn't say that. He should be relieved of his wiener. Come on. I'm being serious. Put the thing out to pasture. You're 76. Calm the fuck down. Stop fucking doing this! But but you're missing the point. Am I? Yes. That's rough. The point Tell is, me. look, if you rob Tell a me bank, the point, oh, wise man. if you rob a bank, wise man. if you rob a bank, yeah, okay, okay, it's clearly illegal. Yeah, that's illegal. If you find out that you robbed the bank seven years later, it's still wrong. You know, I have to get weird, but it, I feel like more like Vince is the bank, and they're robbing him. That's, see, so, that's a valued point. So now tell how, me more. So how, what is there to say? I think that in general, they knew damn well what they were getting into, and now they're all piling on and, and getting their money. I think it's just as evil as... The, wait a second. It's, it, this guy's just an old dude, too. They're shaming him. This is not good. All right. I'm going to give you some... I turn the tables and, and you smile. I'm going to give you... Well, because I don't even know what you're talking about. What are you right talking now. about? They He's an old guy, and, and now they, they're and, age and, and, and they were like, they were like, I'll sleep with him, and then I'll sue him. Because he's an old bat. Nobody will take First it on all, the surface. How do you know they're being sued? Maybe it could be like well, this. Well, they were probably threatening Ma to sue. No. And that's why I cut them a Maybe check. it's this. Ma how do you get to the point where I'll give you $7 million without a threat? How about we call Here, I'm $7 million. Because maybe we call it something called prostitution. Oh, interesting. $7 million to the billionaire yeah, is like $1,000 yeah, right. to he just gave, us. He gave away nothing. He's fine. He's like, wait a minute. So let me ask you something. Yeah. Do you yeah, think there's right. a possibility? Because said to Trish, hey, Trish, here's a deal. I find you hot. I know I'm older. I bet you. In the end, yeah. payday. Right. Hey, Vince, I'll do yeah. it. And, Mr. and I'm not saying Trish did and that. To, Don't to be, get me wrong. To, to be fair, Mr. McMahon was, was, was sexy back in the attitude well, era. He's Mr. McMahon. He was Jack. okay. He was, he was all right. He was a genetic jackhammer. He, Vince McMahon was never the best looking guy. No, not at all. Let's not get crazy. I'm here. not. But I'm saying in recent days, okay, really put it away. 
calm down. Put All that right. thing out the pasture. Here's here's my point. Okay. What's the difference between Vince McMahon mm. uh, approaching and uh, okay? You got one occasion where someone said he raped her. Ooh. That personally, okay. I don't believe. I don't understand unless you're that friggin' out of your mind that you feel like you can do anything. Should Vince be compared to Harvey Weinstein? No. Okay. Because Harvey now Weinstein. Now we're drawing lines. Harvey Weinstein mm -hmm. used his power right? to stop people from getting other jobs from other places. Interesting. Okay? Gotcha. Okay. That's wrong. Right. Okay. So here's my point. Mickey James married yeah. to Nick Ollis, right? Right, right, right. Why isn't that wrong in the workplace? I don't see anything with it being wrong. Why do you? Well, then why is Vince having sex with someone being wrong? It's only immoral. If that's a why is that immoral? immoral? I'm not saying it is. I'm saying that's a matter of morality argument. But but my point is, you know? I Nick mean, if you're, hard, if you're a hardcore Christian, you could stop and go. Vince McMahon is married. There is nothing more to talk about. All right, but everybody have to understand, understand that everybody's got. But everybody's well aware that that relationship's been severed for. Well, now quite we're a really aware of it. Honestly. All right. I yeah. mean, it, it it rested in the rumor clouds until recently. Let's right. be serious. Okay. We never. But really, now it's now clear. we kind of know. Now it's clear. Right. So the morality of it is: Did he force his way on these women? My my point know, to I you is: know. If Nick Aldis hooks up with Mickey James, right. What uh, Stephanie McMahon right. hooks up with Triple H. Yeah, perfectly. China right. hooks up with Triple H. Yeah. Sonny hooks up with everybody. Well, hooks up with everybody. I got you, but we'll just for this. She didn't sue anybody for this conversation. Right? <laughs> for this conversation, Shawn yeah. Michaels, right? Bret Hart, who got a divorce because he was cheating on his wife. Ooh. Okay, that's factual. Ex excellence of execution. Okay, so my Liar. point, my point here oh. is, what's the difference? I don't know. Dave LaGreca. Okay, uh -oh. not to pick on our friend Dave. Our friend? No, he's not our friend. I, I'm confused. We can't stand Hi, him. Hi, Dave. I, what? No, we don't like him. Okay. Bye, Dave. Bye, Bye. Dave. <laughs> so Dave is holding that morality <clears throat> stance. Dave? Yes, against that Vince. Dave had as many wives as King Henry VIII. Well, there's, hold on. That's and a did, great point. Didn't he? Here's my point. Or halfway? You marry four women. Yeah. You divorce them. Yeah. And you pay them. Oh. Right? Alimony. Right. Because you can't keep your marriage. Right. Then you shouldn't that have a job sense. either. Right. Because you have no morality. Yeah. You yeah. marry women, you divorce yeah. them, because right. you meet somebody else, right. and you pay them. Right. right. Is that any different than what Vince is doing? No. No. Yeah. The way you put it that way. <laughs> I'm trying yeah, to... I don't, I'm, yeah, am something. I making sense here? Yeah, you make some sense. Yeah. yeah at the end of, oh, so at the end of the day, Mike Monty, is Vince McMahon a bad guy? Is Vince McMahon a bad guy? Is he um, a bad guy? I, so my concern... Is he a moral guy? Is he moral Or is he not? just a regular dude? Here's the problem. With impulses. <laughs> Here's the problem. I don't know. I, don't I know always Vince. go back to dark... I always go back to dark side of the ring, okay? okay. Dark oh, side right. of the ring where they discuss with... Jake Roberts says, you know, at first, you meet a hot girl mm -hmm. and you have sex. Yeah. And sooner or later, that hot girl's not good enough, so you ask her to bring a friend. She brings a friend. Huh. And that's good for a while. But that's not good enough. She brings a friend. And then he asks to bring a couple more friends. What? And that's not good enough. Then he asks to bring a dog. Bring a broom. A dog? But he was just using examples. Bird? It gets weirder and weirder yeah, it's and getting weirder. Weird. Yeah. So here's a guy like Vince, yeah. right? He's a com competitor. Oh, he is. Right? I'm sure none of the sexual es es escapades were going on in his battle with WCW because he was in a missed battle. Right. But as times calm down, I'll the powerful you. challenger is looking for another I'll challenge. I'll see you, Stacey Keebler, and raise you two Trish Stratuses. Do I still look at Vince McMahon as a great American? Yes. Yeah. Do I still look up to him as one of my idols yeah. growing up? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Do I look at yeah. him as one of my mentors in the business world? Yes. Interesting. Okay. Do I? Am I disappointed if he right. raped someone? Ooh. All bets are off. Yeah. That's done. Yeah. That gets filed into yeah. forget uh -huh. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. But if you made decisions to pay people for whatever reason, it's your money. Right. That's your right. Right. Again, I'll go back I, to LaGreca. You've paid it. four wives, dude. Right. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> Shut up. Fair enough. Right? Fair Don't enough. Don't throw rocks when you live in a fucking glass house, yeah. clown boy. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. Well said. Yeah? I agree. All right, let's see. I, can, I, I can't add to something that, you know, well drilled home. All right, let me see if I can get something. Uh, humble K. 
Academy. I'm sorry, guys. My friggin' glasses. Uh, this Humble computer. Pie. Vince and Linda's relationship is kind of like Will and Jada's. That, that's a great point. I don't know where they're Will at. Will Smith and Jada? Yeah, I don't know where they're at. Well, I, Jada has an open the, marriage. Really? How do you feel about that? Open marriages. If, if the, you if were married to someone and she said, Pharaoh, I would like to be if with you're other people. both into that, then there's nothing wrong with that. But it's got to be both of you. Is it immoral? I don't think so. Why not? Why should it be? It's only because if it becomes a lie. In God's eyes, is that's immoral, right? Again, like I said before, if you're doing the Christian thing, none of us should have left the house this morning. <laughs> Good point. None of us. None of us. Okay? Right. Just to spell that out, all right? But as far as, you know, what you're getting not at. Not even guys that buy if, their wives listen, on listen, the listen, internet. Listen, listen, listen. Let's, let's, uh, <laughs> I'm just asking. Could how that much, guy leave the how house? How much is that postage? <laughs> He's like arguing over the postage. <laughs> what? You guys can see it. Oh my god! He's about to get his purchase. She cost this yeah. much. Like, what does she eat? <laughs> get the f Come on, man, dude. Is it immoral to buy your wife over the internet from Korea? Hey, I look. If know. I look like that certain person you're asking about that bought the wife over the, I fuck. I would fucking order it from Mars to get it. Oh my god. I mean, the only thing they're missing is the bird seed with that one. <laughs> 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 No thanks. JB says the difference is Vince had to pay, Nick didn't. That's that that is the difference. Right. But in the whole setup between them, right. it's the same thing. Right. Look, guys, we're, how we're actually we're actually money. giving Everybody you knows. true uh, over twelve million dollars. No, dude. but it's not harsh. We all know about it. Here's well, there's the, the other thing. What? What's so That's, harsh about this? So here's Everybody my question. Everybody knows what's the going on. The loud money. The two clowns like the that are going loud. after this, like, right? The yeah. two clowns that are going after uh -huh, this, uh -huh. right? <laughs> yeah. Now that these, now it's been revealed, shouldn't yeah. Vince be able to get his? Shouldn't he get his money back? <laughs> I would, yeah, I would say right? so. Right, because that's. I mean, you signed an agreement. I think that they should get. He should get his money back. Nobody kept their mouth shut. So you got free money. Fuck that. All right, Give I'm going to name a few <laughs> things that Vince McMahon has done, and I want you to answer to it. Okay, John, I'm answering to Vince. Okay. John Oliver. Yeah, I'm naming some big problems Vince you. has encountered over the years. Okay. John Oliver accuses Vince McMahon of screwing his employees out of health care in 2019. Vince McMahon, I've seen, we've seen, heard cases. We've had a billion wrestlers come in. Most of most of them say Vince has done nothing but right by them. What about the 87 times he sent Scott Hall to rehab? We can name a million more of them. No, I, no, I don't buy that Vince McMahon doesn't give a shit about his workers. That's bullshit. Okay. I've always felt that way. That's bullshit. An unnamed woman claimed to have been sexually assaulted by Vincent McKennedy and McMahon. I can't touch that one. I have no idea who this unnamed person is. I bet you she didn't even get hush money. I bet, you, I bet you she did. But did she? Maybe that's why she remains unnamed. You know, know what I mean? Again, this is this guy's know. money. I don't know. I can't. I, I, I don't know what to think about that. That's McMahon was accused of accepting Saudi Arabian blood money by various critics in 2018. That's, that's people who are upset that he dealt with Saudi Arabia. That's not that's not blood money. Vince did it for business reasons. It doesn't matter whether it was here or on another planet. Vince would have done that no matter what. It had nothing to do with hatred of one background or another. Stop it. It's wrestling. It was a business move, just like India. Was that also blood money when he went into India? Stop it. Next. Vince McMahon accused of distributing steroids like candy to WWE performers in no. 1993. No, well, if you really want to get technical, I guess let's just go after Dad, too, because wasn't Dr. George Saharian always sitting at ringside when Vince Sr. owned the place and, and didn't he have the lab coat on? And inside the lab coat was a bunch of shit. And Ivan Putsky looked pretty beefy in 1980. Hey. So let's go after Sr., too! Can I ask you a question? Because we hate Junior so much, let's go after the beloved Sr., too. Can I ask you just a quick we'll question? Who gets a free pass? Did Tony Atlas ever wrestle in the NWA? Of course he did. How about the AWA? Of course he did. How about Jesse the yeah. Body Ventura? How about every promoter that they all worship from Ken... the old days? They're the same effing things. Thank you. Ken Patero same... is all over the place. Give me a break. It's like, come on. Oh, give yeah, Vern Gagne can't tell. Vern Gagne had no idea. Oh, wow, you look beefy today. Shut the fuck. Guys, wake the fuck up, okay? This has all become Vince because Vince won the war with all the guys you love and all the bad practice habits that they had. They had. Backs. Good Facts. answers. Good answers, Farrell. Facts. McMahon know? remains accused of crafting an elaborate con to take the heavyweight title from Bret Hart. Oh, so I, I should let my my number one star, along with Sean, for the last several years, take my championship on on his good word that he won't take my championship to my my competition the very next day. Fuck you. 
fuck you, my company comes first and you're losing tonight. And no, I'm not waiting for tomorrow for you to show up and nicely give me the belt. This is my company. I've paid you a fortune. Lay down, son. So now, I've never, ever been on Bret Hart's side for the screw job. Hey, Matthew Holland says Scott Hall is in heaven with Mike Monty. <laughs> this is the second time this guy's killed me already. This guy's, you're, you're dead? You're already dead. Second time. It's like a cartoon. It's I wonder whose cartoon character he likes, like sexually. <laughs> What else you got? Anything else Vince did? PJ says he pays former employees to go to rehab, not even active employees. He takes care of people. Didn't he just sign Mick Foley to a Legends deal? I'm sure Mick Foley all of a sudden appreciates the couple of million that fell into his mailbox. Yeah. yeah he, Jacob he, says, is it wrong that I hope that Vince beats all this? It's not wrong. It's not wrong at all. I, look, I used to root for George Steinbrenner with all my heart till the day he died. And I used to read terrible things about George Steinbrenner, but I know better. Because I know how George Steinbrenner treated my family personally. George Steinbrenner was actually really sweet and wrote us a letter one time and gave us free tickets because the weather was really, really bad that particular day. George Steinbrenner gave that bad boy that we know of, you know, a, life, a life's job. He did so many different, he sent Daryl Strawberry, he saved Daryl Strawberry! You know, George, I found George Steinbrenner very similar to Vince McMahon. So no, I'll always, I'll always root for Vince McMahon to get through everything and anything. Did he have impulses? Oh, it sure, sure seems like it, but I hope he survives it all, and I hope that he's fine. And I hope that these other people who took their the money to be hey, quiet check, give some back. Check it out. Big anyway. Boss Fetty, one great comment. You ready for this one? I like Boss Fetty. Check it out. Hit it. Technically, Linda is paying these women, too. Sure. Absolutely. And she's aware of every single one of them, I'm sure. Here's how I feel. I oh, feel well. this is a witch hunt. It is. The only claim with him, it always that is. I have an issue with Vince McMahon yeah. is that if he rapes someone. Then we're done. Okay? Then, then we're done. There, we're done. Then we're done. But again. And that's fair. Mario and us, we never discussed it. Right. Okay, so I don't know Mario's and we side. Did that I Mario, only know what Mario, I've read from Mario. We were respecting Mario's wishes for that day, so it was what it was. But my point, do I believe it? Absolutely not. I don't think so either. I don't see why he would. Why would you? I mean, he's a very intelligent man. You wake up in the morning and you, and you get an impulse. You don't, you don't have to force the issue. You're a very wealthy well, man. And let's be 100% honest. And I'm mean, not trying to God. be rude go out there. A, go get an erotic but massage you're, you're, or something. You're a freaking I mean, millionaire. You, you, cohort, you, you, know, you have this referee come to the back of your car, supposedly, okay. and you rape her. Listen, I can't see it, in his head, right. I'm thinking any normal human being, and if we're going to claim Vince isn't normal, you're wrong. He would wrong. throw away all his hard work like, like that. Oh, my God, I'm going to risk my millions for that mutton face? No. Come on, would, dude. He, he risked his mortgage for WrestleMania. He's going to throw it all away for that? For that? No way. Yo, know, Trish Status, maybe. You know what I'm saying? I, you would have to really hard press me. Yeah. I would be, I'd be like, no. 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 N-O. No. And again, him, I'm, I'm a millionaire. Japanese erotic massage. Gone. And in plenty of like states. Like the owner can... from New England Patriots. Thank you. Yeah. And done. And done. You don't go, I've got to have it and I've got to have it from you and I'm taking it. No, I don't see Vince needing or wanting to do that. But that's me. All right. So final verdict before we do commercial break. We'll, we'll return with head to head between Wendy Richter. And, Becky, and Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch. Final verdict on Vince McMahon. Innocent or guilty, sir? Well, there's going to have to... I don't know how much further this will play legally, but as far as I'm concerned, Vince McMahon is not guilty of anything. He didn't rape anybody. And in the court of Monty and the Pharaoh, Vince McMahon, you're released on your own reconnaissance. Get back to work. No chance in hell. We'll see you after this commercial. M&J Video Games and Collectibles. Sport and non-sport cards, wrestling items, autographed items. We buy, sell, and trade. M&J Video Games and Collectibles, located at 1049 Queen Street, Southington, Connecticut. Call us at 1-860-479-9223 or 860-93-GAMES. M&J Video Games and Collectibles. And Nitro's Garage for all your automotive needs. Call 646-675-2349. That's 646-675-2349. For all your automotive needs, Nitro's Garage. Ask for Jack. In the mood for a freshly roasted cup of coffee? www.offtherailscoffeeroasters.com
All right, welcome back to Long Island's number one pro wrestling broadcast, Monted Farrow, only seen here out of Indie Music TV. And here we go, Farrow, another edition of Head to Head, where we're putting up Wendy Richter against Becky Lynch. Jarrett, hit the tape. Now, for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world on HBO pay-per-view, ladies and gentlemen, from Mandalay Bay, Las Vegas, uh, let's get ready to rumble! All right, so it's uh, Wendy Richter, Becky Lynch, Farrow. Name the rules of the game, my friend. Oh, God, why do I always get this job? I can barely remember my name. All right, let's go to the first category. We've got five categories. We're going to decide who's better here. Uh, first category is mic skills. Uh, how you doing there on the, uh, you know, the uh, convo uh, level? Can you talk like The Rock or are you Shanky? Mike's favorite. I love Shanky. Shanky doesn't talk. So I love Shanky, Shanky gets a big fat F on the mic. Uh -huh. All right, let's go to Matt Skills. Uh, obviously, this is pretty obvious. I always uh, mention Bret Hart, especially when he's about to leave the company with my belt. So do you have the uh, level of Bret Hart, or do you have the level of Orange Cassidy? What a drop kick that guy throws. Okay, let's go to the next category. The next category, uh, I do believe I'll say, is the back of the baseball card. I love this category. This is the nerd in me. Uh, we're talking about belts and, you know, uh, things like Money in the Bank and uh, Royal Rumbles and, uh, you know, what's on the back of your baseball card? Or do you got nothing like poor Frank Williams, my hero? Okay, then we've got, uh, was it Impact on the Industry? Where, uh, you know, what kind of mark did you leave in this business? Uh, you know, how's your, uh, how's your trail looking there? And, of course, the final category is the it factor. Did I get all of these, by the way? You I did. I think I did. You did. You did well. The it factor. You know, are you, as I always say, Hogan, or are you... Uh, you know, I don't know. Give me somebody. Who's uh, who's the opposite of Hogan? Uh, let's go Steve with... Steve King? I always mention Steve you King. You love Steve King. Yeah, Steve King, the jobber from the early 80s. There you go. All right, so there it is, folks. Those are the rules uh, for head-to-head. -head. All Hit right, it, Mike. So, Wendy Richter. Okay. Former WWF champion, two-time champion. Uh, yeah. She was very famous for the first screw job where she was... The belt was taken from her by the Spider Lady. That was Moolah. Fabula Moolah. Yeah, Fabulous that was Moolah. sneaky. I remember that. Uh, Wendy Richter, as you know, started the whole rock and wrestling. She was an integral part. Yes, she was. She was managed by the great Cindy Lauper. And Dave Wolf. Right? As they went against <laughs> I think. Fabulous Moolah. Yeah. And I believe, was it Leilani Kai? Well, didn't didn't Richter have to deal with Moolah well, himself? Well, Richter against Moolah, and then yeah. for WrestleMania, it was Leilani Kai, Oh, yeah, Kai, look at right? you with Leilani Kai. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, sorry, I mixed You're that not going to throw me a Velvet McIntyre, are and you? And then, you know, Becky Lynch mm -hmm. doesn't really need any sort of introduction. I will no. open it up with my wife wanting me to share. What? She's sick of Becky Lynch. She doesn't like Becky. She feels Becky has no mic skills. That's messed up. She's 98 pounds. That's messed she up, too. She squeals like a pig. That's messed up, three. She has no, I said no mic skills. Yeah, she said Can't that. wrestle. Can't wrestle. This is insane. This is, and she said that, and I said, you sure you want to say that? Because she's probably one of the more popular wrestlers in wrestling That's right really, now. That's she goes, I don't get it. She's a clown. Very interesting. How do, what do you think of that? I think that's bizarre. I think Becky is good. Yeah, I think Becky's fantastic. But I think I'm I think I'm gonna put up a fight with you with Becky and Wendy right, Richter. We'll and by the fans, happens. I will tell you when you'll see the comments after the show's done. We'll see what happens. We've got a lot of people. We'll see what happens. Bending towards Wendy. You know how I'm gonna go, but we'll, you know we'll see what happens. All right, let's go. Well, what's the first category? You want to do Mike Skills? Sure, let's go Mike okay, Skills. Okay, you're going to compare Wendy Richter to Becky Lynch? So, nope. 100% Becky. 100% Becky. Yep. I agree. Yep. Can't argue that. Yep. Wendy Richter was never great mm -hmm. on the mic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Category two. So, that's one for Becky. Sure. Category two, Matt Skills. Now, hold on before we do anything further. Matt Skills. Now, uh, Becky Lynch is one of the uh, four horsewomen, isn't she? She is. Uh, Becky Lynch is uh, one of those who uh, set the bar and, and the whole women's evolution thing, right? She is. Uh, in the ring, uh, doesn't she have the uh, 
the bloodline too? Isn't her mom a, a legend over across the pond? Uh, I don't know if she's a legend. But I, she's across known. the pond she is. I know that she is in her home country. She's uh, pretty well known. Uh, I would have to say that Matt Skills is as much of a blow away as Mike Skills. Two for Becky. So wait, hold on, dude. Do I get a weigh in on you, this? No, you do, but I'm saying two for Becky. Go ahead. So, uh, go ahead. Different era with yeah. Wendy Richter. Yeah, tell me, tell um, me, tell me how Vergano she was. Go ahead. Okay, <laughs> Wendy. I'm laughing. Wendy was a very well-rounded she was wrestler. A good wrestler. No, she was. She could for sell. For her time period, she was. She could sell. Yeah. She could move. Sure, she could. No, she was um, good. You know, she in was. the women's division, Absolutely I think could that wrestle. she was quite. White, she's just not Becky. The wrestler, she's just not. Becky. But again, I'm gonna go with yeah, she's just Becky, not Becky Lynch. I agree. She's just not okay. Becky. She was but damn to be good fair, though. But to in be her time, I should have been the fair, best. Becky Lynch no. also has the competition who's at her level. Sure. Where Wendy Richter Mula. had a very we'll limited. She had a very she had limited. Chicks. What if we, if Mula. this challenge was Mula against? Becky Lynch. This oh, would be a different this story. Be interesting. Oh, this would be very interesting. All I'm going to say for is 27 that years as champion. This would be all interesting. I'm going to yeah. say is this: is that Wendy Richter was facing very low Lesser. level, absolutely, women and I thought talent. that she was the best in the ring, pretty much against the chick she faced. So, I'll give her, I'll give her that. All right, back of the baseball card. Go ahead. You go first. Back so of the baseball card. So we're in two different eras. Mm-hmm. Uh, many championships, mm -hmm. but the, this goes back to when we discussed San Martino, yeah. our backland yeah. against, say, a Daniel Bryan, for example. Okay. Obviously, the back of the baseball card is going to have more championships in yeah. the 2000s. Yeah, it's not about quantity, but right. Go ahead. I got but you. I would say I'm giving this one to Wendy Richter I because can't. she legitimately is a two-time World Wrestling Federation champion mm -hmm. and. Mm -hmm. The one who made mm -hmm. that championship, which later on became dysfuncted, dysfuncted a word, or whatever. <laughs> it became dysfunctional. She, it, it ended up being eliminated yeah. right. by the WWE because right. it's lack of necessity. Right, right, right. right. She right. made right. that belt. So you mentioned Moolah, uh -huh. who held it for 27 years. Uh -huh. yeah. In the short reign, Wendy Richter had that title okay we'll call it seven months six months uh -huh. made that belt important uh -huh. more important than the 27 years that fabulous moolah had with that that's belt. because circumstances allowed that to happen listen just like i said moolah wasn't she wrestled women in uh, you're not giving her was. a break when she yeah. wrestled women not at the level that becky lynch no, gets I am to giving her a break. so but not I enough am. to give it to her no I'm not so giving anyway it to her. that's right. where i'm going right two one becky lynch well actually uh, it yeah well, that's that's actually a draw because I've got it, Becky three, and you've got it, two one, Becky. Yeah. Do you understand where we're going? I okay. Gotcha. So what's next? Oh, so you're you're just saying no? That, no, she's back got the baseball no. Card, I'm not giving Becky her Lynch. no. Absolutely not. Becky's got a better back okay. baseball court. Yeah, she does. All right. She really does. You what's know? next? Uh, it factor. Wendy Richter without Cindy Lauper standing next to her. Another one for Becky. <laughs> I got four for Bex. <laughs> so I'm sorry. I'm going. All right. Can't give her the I'm, it factor I'm going, over Becky. I'm going. To, I'm going to also say I'm giving Wendy Richter the oh, it factor. Becky, the like reason I'm going with Wendy Richter the it factor. Wendy Richter is the one that made us all. Her, Cindy Lauper, Roddy Piper, Hulk Hogan. Mm. And of course, Vincent Kennedy McMahon behind mm. the scenes mm. made us mm. who are watching the show, mm. who are hosting the show, the wrestling fans we are today. You're trying very hard. They were a that. game changer. Mm -hmm. Becky Lynch is evolution. Part women's evolution. The pay per view. Who started? Who women's sold evolution? Who sold more shirts than any of them? Part of the machine. Biggest part of the machine. Wendy Richter Coming from made female, the machine. As far as the dollar. Wendy Richter made the machine. Becky Lynch, part of the machine. Four, four nothing, Bex. I got it, 2-2. Two, two. Okay. Last one. All right. Impact on the industry. Richter. I'm giving it to Richter. Why? Because of all the things you argued about and all those other things. Doesn't make her a better wrestler. Doesn't make her better on the mic. Doesn't make her have a better red factor than Becky. But it does state the obvious. What so, happened at WrestleMania, but you know already, and we talked about it mm -hmm. off the air, I give more credit 
to the MTV Connection, to Cindy Lauper, to Vince McMahon, to Hulk Hogan, to Mr. T, to Roddy Piper. Wendy Richter did a great job, but Wendy Richter was not the preservative. Wendy Richter was the additive. Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair were like the preservatives to what they were doing and what they were driving. Okay? They didn't need a Cindy Lauper. Okay? And Hulk Hogan, by the way, didn't need nobody either. We just happened to add some other shit in. Okay? Whether it was Liberace or whoever. The PJ says, that card. without Wendy, there's no Becky. Understood. Without Bruno, there's no blah, 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 blah. You Fair know, enough. I mean, you can go on and on and on. Without so, gorgeous George, there is no Ric Flair. I agree. Woo! Wendy Richter. I, I, you know, In I factor, got, I've got a 3-2, you've got a 4-1. Unfortunately, we draw. Th- no, this is Farrow's segment, so Farrow outweighs me on this. Actually, no. So we're going to give it to him. As the son of an accountant, this is how we should do it. There was four points for me coming from Becky. Right. There was two points for you coming from Becky. Fair There's enough. six points for Becky. Yep. There's one point coming from me. For Wendy, there was three points coming from you. Becky wins six Becky to four. wins. It is but, crazy. again. Um, you stay with that, folks. I try to make it quick. Anyway, that was a pretty good one, though. Not bad. You know, I know it was pretty hard on Wendy, but again, I feel like there was more the, the circumstances, the timing. I mean, a fabulous moolah had been 27 years old in 1985 for the first WrestleMania. I bet you she would have killed it. Oh, my God. She probably would have held the belt till today. Drunk guy says every time he goes to Wendy's restaurant, he asks for a Richter Frosty. A Richter Frosty? Well, Wendy Richter. I go to Wendy's when you get a hamburger. That's ask for the excellent. Frosty. I like that. Okay. All right, guys. We're All almost right, out of works. time. We want to go and get together and discuss some of the upcoming shows uh, that are happening I sense here. trouble, 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 trouble. Well, trouble. trouble is happening as tomorrow about, we've got to post it at 5. We're probably going to change it to like 5.30. Okay. We've got EC3 trouble, in trouble, studio. Trouble, 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 trouble. Jared won't trouble, be with trouble, us, trouble. Uh, so we have a fill-in, but okay. he'll do, hopefully do as good of a job that Jared does. Okay. Um, are you excited for EC3? Yes, sir, I am. I'm a huge fan of EC3. You know that. I love EC3, especially his time in TNA. And then he came to Vince. Oh, well. There you go. Notice I don't hate Vince for it, though. <laughs> What'd you do? Although I will ask EC3, what'd he do? On anyway. Friday, July 22nd, <laughs> we've got... The return, three times the charm, Tommy Rich in studio. That ought to be fantastic. All right, we got I some, love Tommy we got some games for Tommy. We got Wait, some we're going to play games with Tommy? I think we're going to bring back Hit of the Quitter for Tommy. What oh, do you think? my God. He'll love that. What do you think? I think that'll be fantastic. Jared, you ready to play, play Hit of the Quitter with Tommy Rich? Has Jared done it? Yeah, now let's has, do it. He has not. Jared has not done a Hit of the Quitter. That, that should be very interesting. And then after Tommy is hands of stone... If you like him in the WWE or the WWF, or rugged Ronnie Garvin, if he's the NWA guy. Did he uh, use Hands of Stone in uh, always NWA? Dri- he's always driving Greg Valentine crazy. That he is. He I, is. I, I, I'm mad at him. But Ronnie was great last Wasn't time he was in here, so he's I'm awesome. very, very excited to have him he's in here great again. Guy. Great guy. And then on April 4th, the return of Marty Janetti. So what you guys August ex- 4th or April 4th? Did you say April 4th? August 4th. I thought he said Did April. I said April? Uh, you, you might have, Rabbit. Oh, August man. 4th. Okay. Marty. Marty's How is in Marty? So we got a couple of things going on. Have you talked to Marty? We'll, just, we'll probably talk to Marty about the passing of Dan. Okay. Right, no one's heard from him on right, that. Right. Okay. We'll talk yeah. to him about the passing of Butcher, which oh is our my. own little private thing, right? Oh We've talked Lord. about Butcher a couple of times. Right, Butcher Blackwell. Yep. Uh, I got a few other things to talk about him, and then at the second half of the show, mm. Jared says he's ready for it, so I'm going over with Jared. We've already got people lining up. Right. The fans of the show. Right. You will be on video. Nice. Um, I will step away from the table. Marty will come to the table. It'll be Farrow and Marty. Farrell and Marty. Yep, and you'll be brought Where up. Where are you going? I'm going to be back You're in the You're going to be over there? Now. All right. And all right, then right, as right. the fans come on, you'll be able to sit and ask Marty your own personal question. Okay. So we've got time's book. So if you want to book a time, guys, it's at get on it. Monty yeah, get and on it. the Pharaoh. That's Monty, A-N-D, the Pharaoh.com. Mm-hmm. Message us and we'll see if there's a slot ready. They're going quick. All right, so yep. you don't want to miss that um, good opportunity to... Be a host of your own show and ask him any question Talk you to want. Marty, right? personally. You can ask that question. Hey, do you think Sean and Vince McMahon ever had sex together? You're not saying. I still want to get in the Hall of Fame. Really? You think so? <laughs> I don't know. Just and then on there. April, t- uh, sorry, August, I, I probably did say April. August 12th, <laughs> okay. we've got Greg the Hammer Valentine in studio. So Greg's going to be here and we're going to get the going to have to just have a little talk with 
our old man had. How'd you, how did you convince him to come down when usually all he'll give you over the phone is... <laughs> Greg, you want to come down? How about one grunt for yes and two grunts for no? <laughs> That's your that favorite right grunt. there, dude. I love Greg! My old time favorite. All right, guys, we're out of time. I want to thank you again for taking your time and joining us Um Every Thursday, we are humbled and honored, even though there's only nine of you in the chat room. I'll just keep repeating <laughs> that because that really pisses me. Please, again, join us for E3. Just don't pee on your scroll. Uh, that's going to be exciting. Yeah. Uh, I think he's got a couple of reveals that may happen. So it is good stuff. And, uh, you know, I think we'll have a great, great, great time. Yes, sir. But we got a large lineup coming in. I'm very excited, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing you guys. God bless. And uh, don't forget, you'll get a little EC3. Then you can watch a little SmackDown. Yeah. Then if you want to watch a little Rampage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you know. <laughs> and I got to tell you, don't miss those A&E documentaries. They're off the hook. I Sunday. love them. On I Sunday. love them. You've been watching Monty and the Pharaoh. Thanks for coming uh, to check us out as always. And until next week, later. <laughs>